let's begin with a real story. Stacy was a nurse and a single mom in a small U.S. town, struggling to make ends meet. She leased out her land to an oil and gas company in the hope of a comfortable life. But once fracking operations began, things went haywire. Her family felt sick inexplicably, the water from a well became unusable, and the air choked her. She finally had to abandon her dream house and the town just to survive. The culprit was a nearby wastewater holding pond from which fracking wastewater had leaked into groundwater, contaminating her well. While most oil and gas companies deal with their waste more responsibly, this story highlights the real dangers of improper handling of fracking wastewater. To give you a scale of this problem, the volume of fracking wastewater generated per year can easily fill more than 200,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. In addition, this wastewater contains thousands of harmful chemicals, mainly crude oil like organic compounds, heavy metal, radioactive elements, and extremely high contents of salt. Treating this wastewater is an enormous challenge and it's the focus of my research. Correct treatment technologies are extremely energy intensive, so this wastewater is disposed of into deep underground wells, permanently removing water from the water cycle. We aim to promote reuse by treating fracking wastewater with microbes. This approach involves the use of a bioreactor teeming with microbes that can consume the organic compounds from fracking wastewater, making further treatment less energy intensive. However, the bioreactors are sometimes unpredictable because the underlying microbial processes are not completely understood. To address this issue, our team has been running a bioreactor treating 100% fracking wastewater for over a year now. We have identified handful of key microbial species that can remove the organic compounds from the fracking wastewater in the reactor, some of which are novel and have not been studied before. I have isolated many of these key microbial members and I'm now studying them in the lab to derive vital clues to how these microbes work together in the reactor. These discoveries would enable us to improve the performance and reliability of the bioreactors, thus enabling the treatment and reuse of fracking wastewater. Our final goal is to develop compact bioreactors that could treat fracking wastewater at source so that no other stasis have to abandon their homes. Thank you.